Now, dental and oral health are essential parts of your overall health and well-being. Poor oral hygiene can lead to dental problems which are linked to heart disease, cancer and diabetes. Fatusi Sanyang visited the dental unit at Sharap Medical Center and this is her report. The dentist is a doctor specially trained to care for teeth. The common cause of dental problems is poor oral hygiene. Among the most problems are tooth decay, gum disease, gingivitis, bad breath, cracked or broken teeth, root infection, enamel erosion. Dr. Onyi Adeyemi, a dentist of Sarap Medical Center, says that people should have a regular checkup with dentists. No matter how much you brush your mouth, there will be dirtiness and the toothbrush can remove it. You are supposed to see a dentist so that the normal dental procedure for cleaning will be done for you. When the dentist does that, he's going to notice if you have any cavity and do a procedure for you that would stop it instead of you waiting till the problem comes as pain before you solve the problem. The, the ideal thing is see a dentist at least every six, six months. Once you do that, then you'll be fine. Dr. Adeyemi gave advice on how to maintain a healthy tooth routine. All these things about hava or charcoal, whitening, lightning, doesn't make any sense. There's a reason why you should go for the fluoride containing toothpaste. It helps strengthen your teeth. No matter what people say with all that different articles, fluoride has been proven and tested to work. So whenever it is, use a fluoride containing toothpaste. There are so many toothpaste in the Gambia. Look for a fluoride containing toothpaste. Use that and you will be fine. Brush at least twice every day. Make sure when you brush at night is the last thing you do. Because when you brush at night, you've removed every food particle that the bacteria in your mouth would act on. And it saves you a lot of stress. On beliefs and taboos about tooth problems during pregnancy, many people don't go to dentists because they say it is expensive. Dr. Adeyemi tells us why the charges for the services are high. Running a dental practice is very costly. We don't manufacture anything that has to do with dentistry in Africa. From the dental equipment to the dental consumables, everything is imported. And these things are very, very costly. And dentistry is expensive all over the world. Aida A. Kaita is a dental assistant at Sarap Medical Center. She explains why she is interested in dentistry, what she is learning, and her plans. I want to become a dentist one day. I love helping people. Yeah. Most of the time, even at my area, I do help. When I see people with dental problems, I give you advices, or even sometimes I can help, yeah, to do feeling for you free and give medication too. I am learning so many things. I can say all, but cleaning, extraction, denture. My future plans are to one day have my own clinic and to be helping people with dental problems. Maintaining healthy teeth and gums is a lifelong commitment. The earlier you learn proper oral hygiene habits, such as brushing, flushing, and limiting your sugar intake, the easier it will be to avoid costly dental procedures and long-term health issues. For QTV News, I am Fadisi Sanyang.